In August last year, Skywars got an update which was very badly received from the community, mainly due to the new perk system it introduced, where instead of having all perks activated at once, you could only pick up to 6. However, over the past couple weeks, Hypixel has been rolling out small changes to Skywars and today, they announced a brand new update. Alright, so let's start by talking about the, the new prestiges. When the update first came out, the prestiges looked a lot different uh, than what to do now. I'll put a screenshot on screen now of what, like, the original prestiges were. I think the biggest difference is that, like, the old prestiges went all the way up to level 250. Uh, rather than 150 basically being like pretty much unobtainable like realistically I mean literally nobody on the server is level 250 even lifelong who has grinded an insane amount and more playtime than anybody should really have on one game <laughs> I mean even I have more playtime than anyone should have on one game and I'm not even half the star so I think that's kind of the biggest difference for me is how like drastically uh, the kind of change. The reason that it's so much lower now is because rather than getting a new prestige every five stars you get one every ten stars but now, of course, they've reverted it back to every five stars, which I think is much better. Basically, if you don't already know, before this update, uh, Mythic Prestige was the highest prestige, and it still is, but Mythic Prestige uh, was obtainable at 60 star, and it is now 150 star. Uh, as you can see on the screen now, these are all the new prestiges if you haven't seen them already. And they all just go from uh, 55 star all the way up to 150. So originally it went from Rainbow at 50 star to Mythic at 60, but now, uh, since they're implementing the whole like 5 star system, it goes from 50 star, with, which is Rainbow, to 55, which I believe is called First Class Prestige, and then it goes up in 5s from there, all the way up to 150, which is 60 star. And these prestiges have been pretty controversial. The, um, the other ones that I showed you before, uh, I think got a better um, reaction from the player base, uh, even though it still didn't get a very good reaction. I think that's the that's why they changed them because people complained about the old ones. Personally, I was a fan of the old ones. I don't think there was they were too bad. I think the fact that you got a prestige every ten stars was way too much. It should have been every five stars from the beginning. And I think um, the original prestiges, how they had like a, a white, like all the icons, the actual prestige icons were all white. It just felt weird. Like I don't see why they couldn't have involved the, the prestige icon more with the actual color scheme of the of each prestige. Uh, can I clutch this, please? Okay, we're good. But I kind of like the color schemes overall. I don't know. I don't hate the new ones though. They're kind of growing on me, honestly. Like the one I have right now, I'm 75 star and um, I have like basically the same prestige as, as what Opal prestige looks like, which is only 40 star. I just walk into the void. Like I'm basically rocking Opal prestige with white brackets. And while I think it looks really cool, it don't actually feel prestigious. For example, one of the highest prestiges, or at least one of the highest prestiges that anybody's obtained at the minute is at 115 star. I don't remember exactly what the prestige is called, Old. But there's about like four people uh, on the leaderboards who have that star right now, which is kind of weird I'm not sure why everyone decided to stop at that star, but you know, it has sort of like a, a gray and dark gray um, Color scheme, which honestly, I think it looks really really nice It just doesn't feel like it should be that high up. It doesn't feel like it doesn't fit at all um, On the leaderboard. I'll show you the leaderboard after this game what it looks like right now because it's just like it's so I don't know It doesn't feel like it should be a hundred and fifteen stars. It feels like even though it looks really cool, it feels just so much lower. Maybe that is sort of like to be expected. I don't know. Maybe like anything after 60 star, after the old 60 star, I should say, is gonna feel like a downgrade to people because, you know, Mythic Prestige is like the final prestige and it still is uh, because it looks so cool, because it's so kind of definitive. It's so unique as well because it has like the, the moving brackets. That's what makes it so like cool and so like definitive, you know, it's, it's, it's that like that. Thing. And now it's it's bold, which was originally 100 star. But as you can see, the leaderboard here, like look at this, like all these stars are so colorful. And then you just have people that are 115 star, which is just it just looks so out of place, right? I feel like that is a pretty like consistent issue throughout the entire like new prestiges. Like if you look at the old prestiges, like the first like 50 stars, they actually feel like they kind of like get more prestige. Maybe it's just because we're so used to it because it's in Bed Wars as well, and then it got carried over the Sky Wars. I don't know. Like World Wars has a different prestige system that I'm sure World Wars players are used to. If World Wars players are even a thing, I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll get used to it. I don't know. I don't know. But I just don't feel like it, it makes sense for those to, that to be the, like the order that they go in. I feel like it just doesn't feel like there's any kind of progression there. Sometimes it feels like you're getting a big downgrade, you know? But again, you know, perhaps that's something we'll get used to. I mean, the old prestiges aren't perfect, like for, in my opinion. It's all subjective as well. That's, that's something to take into account. But in my opinion, like, 
40 star is probably one of the worst prestiges in the whole game uh, over prestige but it's not really that it doesn't feel prestige it's not it doesn't feel like it, it fits there it's just that's ugly you know but I wouldn't necessarily say that it should be a lower star, really. I guess the way they work as well is that they're actually, like, named after, like, certain kind of, like, minerals, right? So it's, like, it goes, like, stone, and then iron, then gold, then diamond, which are all not only, you know, minerals, you know, in real life, but also Minecraft, uh, kind of a common Minecraft kind of hierarchy used for, like, ranks and stuff like that. With them all being actual items in-game. And then it moves on to other things, you know, like, crystal, sapphire... Opal, Amethyst, which obviously aren't in Minecraft, but it still feels like a hierarchy there. I don't know. So that all just kind of makes sense, but now we have like Assassin and like, you know, Emperor and all this kind of stuff, which it just kind of feels a little bit random. But again, maybe it's just a matter of getting used to it. I don't know. Overall, though, I'm really grateful to have new prestiges in Skywars, you know? Having new prestiges is such a good thing for the game because it gives people new things to grind for. And even if they aren't the most amazing prestiges, I'm just really grateful that we have anything. We've been wanting this for a long time, a lot of players have been asking for it, so it's so cool to see them listen to the community. And as I said before, they actually changed the prestiges once, which is because of the community feedback, which is incredible, really. But of course, that is not the only thing that this update has to offer. If you were around back in August 2022, you may remember uh, the last Skywars update introduced a six perk system. Basically, rather than having all your perks activated at the same time that you've unlocked in the shop, you were limited to only using six perks at once. But some of these perks were like extremely like common. Like some perks you just kind of had to use. So in this update, they've added uh, two global perk slots, which means uh, basically you can't change these. These are perks that everybody has, and these do not take up any of your uh, normal slots so these two perks are bulldozer and juggernaut which honestly if you weren't using these perks then you're doing something wrong because everybody needs to use these perks to have even a slight chance at winning so now we have like two more slots that give us a lot more freedom for me i added a resistance boost and robbery and robbery is uh, it's been huge for me i'll show you in this game it really is just such a breath of fresh air to be able to actually have like the kind of freedom just have the room to be able to like experiment with these more like fun perks in sky wars again like we haven't had this since like before august last year um back when all of the perks were activated all at once and it's just it's just so cool this guy's insanely stacked so i'm just gonna like i'm just gonna take a sword bro like, just give me your, just give me your sword. I took it, I took it. Okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not having good luck. I'm not having, he picked up straight away, it's fine. Oh, hello, what the fuck? Let's just steal this guy's, this guy's weapon, bro. Let's steal it. Got one. That's two. Okay. Nice. I come with him off into the void with my fist anyway, so that's fine. Uh, this guy's just a one hit. I'm gonna take your sword, actually, sir. Okay, that works. I feel like I'm getting more kills just by comboing people with my fist than I am by stealing their sword. Feels like I'm getting like really bad RNG with this. It's a 20% chance. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Huge. Okay, some behind though. Oh my god, I just walked off. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm doing that again. I do definitely see robbery perk being used more because of this, as well as things like uh, Barbarian maybe. Barbarian gives you like a chance to um, get sharpness on your axe if you get a kill. Ecologist just got a buff as well. Uh, not really much of a buff, it just got like more blocks, so maybe not the uh, the best buff. But it, you know, it could be viable because of the um, more accessible uh, Barbarian perk now. I don't know, man. I'm a huge fan of this change, though. It's just, like, it's getting closer to what Skywars used to be, and that's always a good thing. I think Skywars is in a much better state now as it was a few days ago, and I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm here for it, you know? Let's steal this guy's sword. Oh, blocks. Oh, okay. That's an interesting pull. Why did you pull there? Why is everyone, why is everyone just, like, all full of pulling today? Uh, let's get your... Anything? Okay, I got his bow. Let's go. GG. But the last thing I want to show you today is um, a couple changes that have been made with the new mythic kits. So Cryomancer gets a bridge egg, which normally you'd be able to use off spawn, but you can't do that anymore. It's a 30 second cooldown, which I think is really good. I think it's kind of nerfed the kit into the ground, really, but I'm I'm here for it because I absolutely despised Cryomancer before this change. I think it was such a stupid kit to be added in the first place. Um, I also want to show you the reason I'm playing Teams and Saints is because they've added Iron Swords of Sharpness 1 to replace the Sharpness 1 stone swords in spawn chests on islands but i'm not actually able to find any <laughs> in these chests okay as you can see here there's an iron sword here uh, instead of a stone sword in this spawn island that's all i want to show you that's meant to be in solo as well but for some reason it's not they they changed solo a bit as well though they made it so you get like uh, a guaranteed sword 
per chest as well as a guaranteed uh, blocks per chest. So that's kind of nice, but you know, uh, they're, they're still missing the, um, the, the iron swords for some reason. And finally, the last change that I want to talk about is the change to Chrono Breaker, which is again uh, similar to Cryomancer. It got nerfed. Basically, Chrono Breaker, you used to be able to use the Echo ability to teleport like directly, you know, back to wherever you were. And you still can do that, but the only difference now is that you can't use it over the voids if you try to use it in the void. Uh, Basically, it just says you cannot use your echo over the void. So basically, now if you're uh, running from somebody or they hit you into the void, you cannot echo back up. Yeah, it, did, it got nerfed pretty hard, but I don't really mind. I really found that kit an annoying kit to fight, but I do still think it's probably a viable kit if used correctly. It just adds a bit more skill to it in terms of like timing when you're going to echo and stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know your thoughts on the new update in the comments. I think overall, I think it's a really good update. There's some of the press features that kind of hit or miss. But overall, I think this update was very much needed for Sky Wars. And I'm very grateful to have more things to grind for as well as a more balanced game and more perk availability. If you made it this far, comment robbery. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.